I enlisted in the Air Force in 1968, September of 1968. Um, I'd finished two years of college and, and decided I needed a break from college and so um, I started investigating the separate branches of the military and chose Air Force. Went to six weeks of basic training in Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Was then sent to Central Illinois to tech school to become a missile systems electronic technician. Nine months there, then I was assigned to the 90th Strategic Missile Squadron in Warren Air Force Base, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Spent um, the rest of my enlistment there. Got to one year from when I was going to be getting out and started thinking about what my life was going to be. Because our the Air Force spent so much on our training, they offered a lot of incentive to re-enlist. Cash bonus plus a technical stipend where they would raise your monthly pay. And then the uh, big kicker was that I could request any base that happened to be in the missile field that I was in. And so I took them up on that and I re-enlisted, went to the Western Test Range, north of Santa Barbara, California, and spent uh, four years there. Uh, three years after I got there, I met Lieutenant Lois Garms, and six weeks later, we were engaged to be married, and uh, then we separated from the Air Force uh, in January of 1976 and got married in February. We were kind of put together somewhat as a blind date by our respective roommates, and we had dinner together, but um, we didn't really start dating. Um, I guess a few weeks later, when I decided that I wanted to go see a Burt Reynolds movie, I called her and asked her if she wanted to go with me. And, uh, and he said, you know, don't dress up, uh, just wear blue jeans. Um, I didn't own a pair of blue jeans, so I had to go out and buy a pair of blue jeans um, so. so that we could go to the movie, um, The Longest Yard, and I remember that. And um, after that, I think we saw each other every day just about. after that. I would hope that they would know that we, we always tried to do our best at everything we did. That's what we taught both of our girls. They've done that too, and uh, hopefully that gets conveyed on to the to our grandchildren. Be respectful of each other. Be respectful of other people, and and just always try to do your best at whatever you're going to do.